<clears throat> Hello and welcome back. So last time we went to Hogsmeade and we overheard some goblin talking to some guy that wanted to catch us but they wouldn't let him because we were My too fast. Merlin, it's against school policy to let them in the common room. I prefer to study in the library. It's always much too loud in the common room. I'm avoiding our common room today. Ronan's testing on Accio, and students are summoning objects right and left. Nearly lost an eye to a rogue quill. Sometimes the prefect sits next to me. Well, one time they did, in the common room. Mind you, it was the only seat. They are, they're not talking to each other, they're like just... It's no wonder Ravenclaws are so clever though, isn't it? So she says something, and then he says something totally different. <laughs> They're not even like, what? Oh, I almost lost an eye. Oh, I said to the principal, what? Hey. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. So the paintings do move, but uh, carpets, or what do you call them? Dons. Okay. Oh, ah, oh, that scared me. Oh, I'm not going the right way. Sound design is really nice. You can hear like people talking in the background. Hmm, that looks very safe. Oh, hello. You are fighting. Mm. I mean, I don't think they can kill each other again. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting and water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported. <coughs> Excuse me. The largest Kelpie ever reported is a Loch Ness monster in Scotland. Uh, why would you be riding it though? Is a chest. Can I open you? No. Okay. It's like you have this normal chest and the chest with the eyes, and I wonder if there's a difference. There's another statue there. Revelio. Let's go check it out. Oh. Hmm. 
Sounds nice. Revelia. I can hear it. Oh, there it is. Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain feature intric intricately intric uh, intricately carved uh, statues of denizens of the magic world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. I wonder if that's still the case. Why did you hamlets outside of Hogsmeade? I'm going to try and visit them all. This cannot possibly be Why as difficult as it seems. Surely they don't share hmm. a common room like the students, do they? Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Okay. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Ooh. Okay, I'll have if a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than you I have. You have more than one brain? Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves Lumos. the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Is it nearby? It's like a pot of some... What is it? Is it it's a statue of a fat guy with pots. Would it be nearby? What is this? Dusky wood. <laughs> yeah, let's wear that. <laughs> A fat guy with pots. Would it actually be nearby? Oh, the map says where it is. This looks like oh, the location sad. from the painting. What could be so special about it? Revelio. The statue of Gregory the Schmarmy. The statue with an in ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Schmarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un unctuous unction. What the hell is that? A potion that makes a drinker believe whoever gave him the potion is her best friend. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh. Do I... Let it go. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Okay, now it's gone. If uncollectible rewards. Okay. Do I wear the desk? You know, it's already way too warm. Oh, thank you. Collections. Magic Neep carpets. Yeah, I remember those. Oh, there are more. Oh. Oh, 
Oops, can I close the list? No. Islands. Ooh, what are the islands? Challenges? I have one assignment. I have new gloves and a hat. I'm not gonna wear a hat, I think. Yet, at least. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, headwear. Yeah, no, thanks. I adore decorating for the holidays. Okay, that's fucking cool. Not sure the fairies would agree. All of my siblings have gone on to work for the ministry. Where are you? Okay, so we were going to Professor Fix. Um, no, yes, yes, you were. We were going to Professor Fix. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? No, I, can I found the you. location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Aren't they moths? I, it, they look like butterflies to me. But then again, why would butterflies go to a flame, uh, like to a light and like mo it's it's more um it would be more logical that mods go to 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 a light right so i guess maybe there are mods that look like butterflies oh i remember this part So you can ride rooms. Get away from me. <laughs> With this huge axe. <laughs> Why would it show me it? It's not in the same level. Same here, there's like a, a text balloon on the map. Lumos. There's nothing here. And the shield says below. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> Professor Fake. As if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient, inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before terms begin. I have assigned a task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phoenix in Nigilius Black, Headmaster. Okay. So is the Headmaster dead? Okay. Revelia. Oh, I can hear something. It's 
so it's uh, Professor Weasley or the Headmistress Weasley that uh, requested Professor Fig to look after me and come and get me. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. But we didn't find anything in that vault. We only found the the memory puddle or whatever they call it. Um, and we only saw this vision from the past. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Okay, thanks. Oh, secret locket. I don't actually remember what was so special about the locket. Revelio. Hello. Let's see what the new quest is. Um, you must learn the fire making charm to continue this story. That's not what I wanted. It's Hogsmeade. Incendio. something
Professor Heath Simons. Oh, maybe they're super close together. I see. Mm. I actually do want to go and do that dueling thing first. If you don't mind. We've got all the time in the world. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against Trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. What? Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from the fight. I thought they were talking about me. We can't have that. No page here, no information. I keep wandering off. <laughs> it's a good thing, though. She said I could swim, did you, Praxia Mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trump me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Whee! I'll get you for this. What a pussy. <laughs> Revelio. Haunted toilets. Unless in dire straits, it's probably best to avoid this particular toilet as it is allegedly one of Peeves' favorite pranking spots. Okay. I mean, there's normal toilets right next to it, so... Why would anyone use them? Oh, I see you. Revenia. Lachlan the Lanky. This statue depicts the wizard Lachlan the Lanky, a tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself. For what precisely? No one knows. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Map of Argyllshire. Argyllshire. This map depicts Argyllshire, a region in Scotland which contains the Hebrides, native home of Hebridean black dragon. Okay. Can I shoot? Why does it light up like that? Revelia. Look. Hmm. 
glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Why are these let up? Revelia. Does it mean I can cast something on it? Let me answer. Oh, what? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Yeah, I fucking smoked him. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does crossed ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yes. Of course of I am. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Oh yeah. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Initiate round. Break three yellow shields with control spells like Levitation Spell, Levioso, Target Lock. Yeah, it lets you track enemies without aiming. Oh, she, he saved me. There goes my way. Oh, so stupid side works as well. Oh, I can't. What? Oh yeah. I only took one hit. I can. Did you drop a chest? Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. All Again, right. congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Yeah. Hope to see you back here again. Oh, the chest is still here. Hmm. I would like to duel alone more though. Okay, let's let's go learn incendio. Oh, hello. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. How about I smack you now? Hmm? You little punk. These are new. Do I have this one? Yes, I do.
Revelio. Serpentine Beast window. <laughs> Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a Serpentine Beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary Green Man. Is this snake with hair? <laughs> Mm, what do you want? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No, of Zenobia course not. Nok, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? No. Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. <laughs> okay, you sound a bit too happy to be sprayed with a foul-smelling liquid. Sounds awful. I yes. haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Okay, Imelda I... is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Yeah, I'd, I'd have done the Sounds same. Sounds as if you caused a smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Yeah, no. Uh, wait, I can't reject it? Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Okay. Well. How do you get them? That yogurt's now teaching us. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Are that them? Oh, well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Still more up. Sarkadagan. A little bit more up. 
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for yes, some yes, of this can't talk to her yet I guess Revelio. all mystery model this standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry depending upon the angle at which this model is read it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Okay. Can I not fall to my death? Okay. That sounds that sounds nice. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yes, 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 yes. You don't have to tell me. I'm already on it. Oh, there's another one. Rebellion. Nothing. Maybe it's because I'm already doing something. I'm not sure. places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. It's not one of these. The savvy student is wise to keep an eye on the stairs, as they will change position without notice. While certain students may not mind being late for class, they may very well regret being late to dinner. I guess that's a good reason to be late. I don't know what that is about. And there's no die around here this time. Oh, yes, there it is. Well, you can't do anything with it either, anyway, so. Up and up we go.
Wigan World Potion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <laughs> What's that? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. What you did wrong with you? That's one. Two more to go. Revelio. Isn't there one here too? Oh, there's so many. Goblet of Fire Casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted chest. The Goblet has served as a um, means of selecting champions for the Tri Wizard Tournament since the contest establishment in the late 13th century. Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award upon 7th year half of Oye, oh yeah, Clarhouse, House, uh, Mirable Garlic, from Mandrakes to Mistletoe and Bubo Tubers to Bouncing Bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Mm, that's nice. So there should be a bubble here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, there you are. <laughs> now there's only one more. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Like so much stuff everywhere. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yes, we're going to the last one. Relax. I want that one. Come here. Where did it go? <sighs> hmm, that's unfair. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. So it's there he is. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Did it change or something? In the light? Lumos. Thirteen twenty one. No. Money. A walrus.
Is it getting dark? It is. See? Oh, this is just a long loop. It doesn't really matter. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? <laughs> yes, I have no use for them. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. That's a terrible That's a idea. idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Totally oblivious. In any case, <clears throat> let's go learn that incendio spell. Mm, it's here. I believe we have some matters to discuss. I do too. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Well, I, I'm assuming here, right? Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Win two rounds of crossed ones. Mm, is it? Start win. All the way to the other side of the tower. Um, there is a flame. I. There is a flame nearby. Let's use it this time. Back. Yeah, me too. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Nope. I'm dueling alone. I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. 
ready to get thrashed. Wait, do I have to fight against two anyway? Apologies in advance. Against three? It doesn't seem fair. There's gonna be one. Break to file and shield with four spells, like summoning charm Echiel. Can just do Oops. Okay, is that all you've got? Stupid one. I am better than that, and I'm fucking destroying you. Oops. That wasn't. Come on. Oh yeah. Glad I didn't bet on that round. I am a boss. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Complete around the spell combinations against Lucian Bradley. Wait, what? Oh, because the day is over. Yeah. So I could just sleep on the ground here. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Uh, yes. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Mm. Okay. Nicely done. Just the view, so. Let me open. Okay, that's what I just did. Lumos. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Cool. So we can just go back. jump in that's sad oh well, let's go back to the professor mm. is it this flag i don't think there is another flag
Well, let's get the field page first. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found yes. your Whoops. endeavors. Bevelio. Herbidian, Herbidian Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hakat after she single handedly defeated one of the largest pro largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Okay. So she has credentials. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecket. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Okay, I can do that. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Uh, you have learned enough spells that you need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different spell. Good work. Oh, are these all the spells I can learn in total? On Pringo. Defindo. Expelliarmus, Bombarda. Can I? What are the other ones then? Ancient magic, show, basic cost, rebellio. stupefy, ancient magic, show. summons then throw special environment object at a targeted enemy, particularly useful for breaking through shield charms, cost with W. When it prompt is hovering over an object. Oh, so that's what. So they didn't drop loot. It was a crate I could throw at them. That's good, you know. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast devastating ancient magic attacks that deal massive damage and break shield charms. Cast with X when you see the prompt over an enemy's head. Oh. Whoops. To use a spell or item, you must first add it to your spell set. I already have. I got it. Uh, return to Professor Fix classroom. Okay. Where is Professor Fig again? Ah. She did say that. I thought she did. I hope you know that it isn't true. Hello there. Hello. Perhaps you can help me. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I have I have uh, looked for um, enough uh, bubbles for one day. Thank you. Oh. 
Oh, he's in here. Ah, there you are. Hello. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. He's a bit of a prick, isn't he? That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Hmm. So... I guess you'll always be a subordinate then. Fine. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. He probably does. Oh no! <laughs> Fire! Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Mm. Thank yeah. you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Why is it red? I'm assuming we're not supposed to be here. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold okay. on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try.
disillusionments. Okay. Uh, where are my spells again? Disillusionments. Let's put it on four. Silent How long does it stay? I don't know. Nearby adversaries will sense and then investigate suspicious behavior. Being called by authority figures will result in quest failure. Okay. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Okay, I can do that. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Look away. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Ooh. Oh. The kid is gracious. What a mess. Oh, what size are you gonna go on? Oh, yeah. I am Mr. Stealth. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Mm -hmm. Do we have to stay hidden? Use basic cast while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. Aim mode, transposition, spell type thing. Ghost, don't let her see you. Who's ghost? Oh. 
Those are stupid. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. Oh, thank God. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Yes, Which please. is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Enchanted books. Best to avoid these books if possible. Due not as much to their tendency to fly from one's hand as to their content being spectacularly drivel of no educational value whatsoever. More Wiganwell potions. Should I? Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. I can't open it. Can I? Open? No. There's another one here. Oh, major barrel for this. Uh, where is it? Shouldn't be naughty, naughty. You'll get caught, Peeves. Don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> well, that sucks. Oh, blasted Peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Mm. Hmm. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Thanks. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Green Pristine Ensemble. We can check out gear later. This place is a lot bigger than I thought. And also a lot more dark. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Um, let's first change my spell. Can I still not use a second page? Uh, let's do... Hey, where's... Oh, there it is. Yes. That's it! Enter the odd... The neon. I don't think I should be here.
Poacher coat. Where might this lead? Surprising. Guards at the ready. Oh my god, that's so strong. What? What the shit? Gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power-ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. Ooh. Yes, well, we already read that. It would have been handy before. We could have used it on students. Or maybe not. Ooh. Attention. line cap I think so. <laughs> mm. I don't think there's anything else here right That was just in time. This must be the way forward, but to where? But to where? I'm not sure. Oh, I definitely thought I was gonna raise it. Should I dare? Nope. Mm-hmm. 
gold rimmed hexagonal speckle spectacles. Alright, now I can do this. Okay, and if I do it again. Okay, can the spawns on the start of the hero died. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Hmm. <laughs> Charming house cloak. Vicious cloak. Uh, that's what I thought. Tego. Oh, you mind? Oh my god, he knocked me off. What the hell? I can't remember how I dodged. Oh my god. <laughs> he sends me flying. Move! I can't remember how to dodge. Oh, it's... I do heal a bit over time. It is a book after all.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. She's gonna tell, isn't she? Sebastian! Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> what a little shit. Can I just go out? Ooh. Your gear slots are full. Return to Professor Fig. Oh, I don't mind me. I'm just coming out of the restriction section. Domes and tribulations. Oh. 
You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell yeah, him about tell Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. That sounds like a good idea. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I agree. Well, so I think this is a good time to take a break. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.